Hi there, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the worldwide leader in regenerative therapies. Today, I'm going to show you on the whiteboard the difference between a stem cell versus an exosome. All right, we get this question a lot. We use these together, so stem plus exo for our treatments predominantly, and the result has been fantastic. But a lot of people don't know what an exosome is. So I'm gonna go through some of the differences, okay? So a stem cell is a cell, okay? It has a nucleus, I put an N here to denote a nucleus, all right? It has a lot of intracellular components, and one of the things that it can make, all cells make them, are exosomes, okay? They're like little soap bubbles, inside the cell. Now, we see exosomes in uh, all types of excretions in, in the body. Urine, uh, blood, saliva, um, semen, uh, breast milk, um, you name it, all right? Now, what happens is they get created in their little soap bubbles and inside those soap bubbles are a lot of elements, cytokines, growth factors, nucleic acid, some peptides, and basically what happens is these exosomes will get excreted from the cells. And typically, and they end up in the bodily fluids or the bloodstream. These exosomes can float through the bloodstream or they can stay hanging out in lung fluid or whatever, but they will get ingested by cells that have inflammation. Okay, so I kind of denoted that here by these, you know, little soap bubble exosomes going into a cell. Now, this is not drawn to scale. I don't have that capability. But if a cell is this big, an exosome is approximately 100 times smaller. They're between 30 and 150 nanometers, all right? So, when they get eaten by a cell that has inflammation, they will then release their contents, their payload, if you will, okay? And that's what these little dots are. And these little dots are what I mentioned, the cytokines, the growth factors, the nucleic acids, the peptides. And so, in essence, exosomes are not cells. They don't have a nucleus. They don't have the capability to replicate like a stem cell does, okay? So it's an acellular therapeutic. What do they, what do, they do? Well, they're very active in cell-to-cell -cell communication. So let me put this in layman's terms. An exosome comes into a cell and they release their contents. And basically what they would say to this cell that has inflammation, they'll say, look, you're sick. You need to repair and reprogram yourself. And we're gonna give you the toolkit in which to do it, to facilitate that, okay? So for people who have, you know, Lyme disease or autoimmune conditions, um, if you have a uh, post-stroke or whatnot, there is so much research out there showing the capabilities of exosomes and what they can do to help repair and regenerate tissue and cellular damage that it's so exciting. And we see this on the clinical side where patients get all kinds of benefits from the combination of stem cell and exosome therapy. So that's the difference predominantly between a stem cell and an exosome. If you or a loved one would like to see if you're a candidate for one of these regenerative cellular or acellular therapies, look us up online at r3stemcell.com or simply give us a call at plus one eight four four get stem and worldwide we do free consultations to see if you or a loved one is a candidate.